Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joseph Musoda, always your host on Inspiring Today. And this is a platform that is there to inspire, inform, educate, and even motivate you for a better life. Ah, with me here for quite a long period of time, for quite a long period of time, I know those interested in the media, those interested in tech, those interested in influencing, social media influencing, we got the right person. For quite a long time, we've been having requests from all over the world, uh, mostly our audience Congolese, requesting for this man. And finally, we have, fi uh, we have been able to fit in his busy schedule and hope we shall use this time to the maximum. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Douglas Luanga. And that's how we do the drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Douglas, up, Douglas, Douglas welcome. Today. Good to see you, man. Yeah, welcome to Purple Skills Training. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are so privileged and honored to be here with you. Yeah, most people say that ah, it's quite hard to reach up to that man. It's yeah. quite hard. Actually, we see these people or TV personalities as non-reachable people. Mm. Like we can't reach. To who, them. who says that? That's the audience. That's the lay understanding yeah. out there. No, it's just because people are not go getters. Oh, yeah. yeah, if you're not a go-getter, you know, you'll always want to, things to come to you. But most times, you have to go and, you know, uh, push yourself to make sure you get what you want to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, if you I want to meet, point. you know, uh, Douglas, you know, you have to go to where Douglas probably works or sleeps or, you know, bump into that's him. That's interesting. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to be a go-getter. Wow, wow, wow. That's the first lesson before we even <laughs> start the first episode. Yeah. So we shall have a four-segmented uh, interview. We, we shall do this it will run for a month okay. each week each episode wow yeah that's four weeks and four episodes yeah. so tune in on inspiring today because we have this wonderful entrepreneur wonderful uh, uh wonderful influencer wonderful tv personal <laughs> personality a lot so you. see you with this video <laughs> So Douglas, welcome on Inspiring today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me here. It feels exciting. Every time we do an interview, it feels like you know you've not talked to people in a while. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's an opportunity to to let the world know, to educate, to advise. Wow, wow. Yeah. And one of our pillars we stand on education. Yeah. We inspire, inform, educate, and motivate. So education is yeah. also one of our fundamental pillars. Yeah. And uh, so, please, if briefly you can tell us who is Douglas. Because people have different, different perceptions yes. and whatever. So, so in brief, Douglas is a person that is multifaceted. Like he has various facets. Yeah. Uh, first, people know me as a TV personality, media personality. Second, I'm a graphics animator. I am a philanthropist right here at Skills Clinic. I'm yeah. also a team leader here. I'm also um, an event host. I do an event called the Purple Party. And then, uh, yo, I'm a family man. It's, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a yeah. roller coaster of yeah. stuff, so I can see. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what do you, what did you professionalize in? What did, what did you study for basically? So I studied bachelor's of arts in mass communication. That means I'm supposed to be a professional journalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I am practicing. Which you are practicing. Uh, so do you think it is wrong for somebody? Because I hear a lot of comment judgments are uh, out there that mm. no once you do this once you are professional uh, you did this you have to do this mm. but you are into almost five or eight things yeah, yeah. which i don't think you studied <laughs> where does that come in so uh, oh, oh. you do not really have to study everything yeah school is not a building school is a community where we live there's a lot of things for you to learn you understand so the challenge we have as human beings is we think school is, let's say St. Lawrence where I studied, school yeah. is Macquarie University where I studied, but school is even now, I can learn something from you, you yeah, understand? Yeah. So, but the challenge is people have not invested themselves in learning new stuff. So you do not, and then again the other problem is people study things because their parents Wow. told them that you know what our family needs a doctor so please go and study medicine or our family needs a lawyer but it's not really what you really want to do yeah and that's why you reach a time and you've studied and you have that degree 
and you're not so passionate about that job, so you try out something else where you're passionate. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. So that, that's the problem that we have in society. And that's why Purpose Skills Clinic is here, I think. To address these problems. Wow. We shall talk of that in our ongoing interview, but let's first get to know him in yeah. details. Yes. Um, so, if you can tell us which schools did you go to? I've got in one St. Lawrence yes. so far. Yes. So I studied, I grew up in Entebbe. Um, I studied in the schools in Entebbe. There's a primary school called St. Fraser's Primary School. And then I went to another school in Entebbe that disappeared after some time. <laughs> and then I yeah. went to St. Lawrence Greenland Campus for my HSC, Senior 5, Senior 6. And then I entered Makere University. Makere University. Yeah. Oh, so th that's the post I th just like. Yeah. Of the, yeah. well, that's the post I saw you making on Facebook the other time. Yeah, yeah, like, for real. Oh, like where I grew up from? Or? Yeah, where you grew up yeah, from? Yeah, that, like that's just recently. Yeah, that's what post. Oh, yeah. so you were from Entebbe? Yes. Exactly. Normally they qualify these people or they categorize these mm. people as the well off no, people. No, really. Actually, Entebbe people are very chill. They are very quiet people, very reserved. Uh, they're not rowdy yeah, because it's not a town that's crazy with noise yeah, and yeah. all that. So when you, grew up in, when you grew up in that environment, you're very. Mm. And calmness is not really that you're welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they, they have a lot of respect. Yeah, but uh, we wouldn't say because everybody now who comes up says that I'm from this humble background. I'm from this. I passed yeah. away. So were you from that, that that same family, from that same kind of background? So humble. What? I I don't know how you describe humble and what's not humble, but I was raised by a single parent, oh. and uh, I would see her as sort to of, you know. Uh, get us through education and all and all that stuff. So yeah. I don't know if that's humble or not humble, but again, I didn't lack anything mm. as a child growing up. So again, I don't know if that's humble or not humble. <laughs> <laughs> Does humble mean you lacked while growing up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how people yeah, define so, it. Yeah, so anyway, so I'm just telling you what, what happened. So it's a, mm. it's, she's a single parent that raised three girls and myself the only boy. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about, first of all, where does the passion of presenting or does, where does this professional career comes from? Where does that come from? Does so that? I've never ever dreamt of being a presenter. Up to now, by the way, it's not really something that uh, I'm so passionate about. I'm very passionate about graphics and animation and creating adverts and all those things. Like that's like my, if you wake me up, uh, uh, out of bed, like that's something that I love to do with, with all my heart. I was a reserved person because of my background and where I grew up from, so I knew that these things of being in front of the camera, you know, comes with a lot of, uh, you know, what fame does. Yeah, it comes with a lot of uh, public appearances, meeting people, and I'm not really, really a fan of that. I, yeah. I love to keep my privacy and be in my space. So uh, this idea of being a TV presenter uh, came about. Uh, when I joined Record Television. Oh, Record TV. Yes, Record TV was my first place that I worked as a media house. Okay. But for me to go there, between Record TV and Macquarie University, I enrolled in a small production house called MGS Videos. MGS. Yeah, where I learned video camera, video editing, and all those things. Wow. And those are the skills that helped me get a job at Record Television. Not as a presenter, but as a camera. Why do you think everybody in the media nowadays is coming up and wants to be before they come? Mm. It's because it's exciting. Everyone it's exciting. wants to be a celebrity. Everyone wants to be known. Everyone wants to be popular. It's, it's very, very exciting. Mm. But little do we know that it comes with a lot of uh, ne uh, negative uh, or disadvantages. Yeah? Mm. Uh, but of course, that's not what people always tell, tell the up. world. Yeah. You know, you check your Instagram and you see these celebrities looking dope. It looks fresh yeah. and you think you know he sleeps to freshness he wakes up to freshness and sometimes those guys are uh, depressed yeah there's a celebrity in SA that committed suicide yeah he yeah was, yeah you had that story I had that story yeah yeah he was recently. a big time influencer he yeah. had signed an endorsement deal you know if you checked his Instagram he was in suits he was fresh yeah but he committed suicide yeah so why would so. you commit suicide if you look you know there's also another Ugandan TV personality that wrote on her Facebook that I've been depressed for two months. Ever since I left TV, I've been going through this phase and da 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 da. Mm. So popularity, fame looks exciting, but it comes with a lot of negative yeah. uh, vices. 
actually i think we also have to play a big role people we people who are in the media should also show the people apart from the good side of it but mm. we should also so uh, we should also show, show them, them yeah. uh like what we pass through sort of in uh behind the scenes no that's unrealistic you know, nobody's gonna wake up and and stand on the street and say guys you know i am broke i don't have money I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell you that. Everybody wants to show that they are happy, they are smiling. Mm. Yeah, but behind those smiles, uh, if you're a fan of Britney Spears, you know, Britney. Yeah, yeah, Britney. Um, she sang a song, um, ah, I forgot the title, but it was more of explaining that when the lights shut down after she's performed and all that stuff, and then she's alone in her room, yeah. that's when reality checks in. Wow. Uh, and uh, she's alone, she's mm. lonely. You understand? So she was comparing the two, two, the, the two, two lives. lives yeah? yeah, the stage when you have these mammoth crowds Clouds, yeah. shouting and screaming your name, and then you back in your small room or bedroom when you're solo. Ah, it's actually, <laughs> actually, and hearing this from a person who has an experience of over a decade, yeah. I think it carries more weight yeah. than just a person who just woke up uh, yesterday and speaks this. Because we respect, by the way, your, yeah. your, your experience and your touch into shaping a better media in Uganda. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and that's why we are here. We are here to celebrate those people that shape us, uh, that shape the things we see, the mm -hmm. things we hear. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are here for you, thank Douglas. You. Thank, you. Uh, thank you for accepting mm -hmm. this invite, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so, talk about your marriage, if you are comfortable with it. Yeah, I, I don't want to go really a lot on that section. Mm. Um, Everything that I've gone through is really, really out there on uh, social media, it's on Google and all that stuff.